because of COVID-19, there were people who are on stay-home notice. Some of these households, they are actually low income. Then we realised that there was a need for food. Today's exercise is really to help those of them who cannot get out to buy meals. So we, had, we decided to deliver the meals to them. A lot of catering companies are doing very badly. So instead of asking them to sponsor, we appeal to public, we appeal to corporate companies who are willing to adopt meals. I live after 66 years old. That's the worst time I ever come across. It's 10 times worse than SARS time. Our taxi driver all find a lot of difficulty to get the passengers. I basically run a youth social enterprise. As a business owner, you are thinking of how to take care of your staff. Uh, actually, every day I have sleep at night. Our bank account can probably last us another three months to four months. I think the amount of stress is really quite huge. The day before my surgery, I walked all the way to Bain Street. I went all the way to the 24th story. I was sitting on the ledge, ready to jump. My mind is like, just any once and for all, I think things will be better. And say that no, God will not remove the pain, but He will give you enough strength to go through the pain. That message somehow forces me to slow down my breathing and slow down my heart so that there's enough time for me to think what are my choices and what is my current circumstances. I cry. I feel so sad about it. Really, I don't know all these things. Everything is to himself. No matter how strong-headed you are, no matter how successful you are as an entrepreneur or as a person, depression can hit anybody and every one of us may face times in our life that we are really depressed. I initially thought that my coping mechanism was food. Then I realised that the more I eat, the more depressed I get because your size will get bigger. It took me some time to realise that when crisis happens, when I do something good, it is my way of coping my stress. So I decided that when there is a crisis, be an upstander. You rally people to do things that they believe in. If they believe in your mission and when they start to contribute to your cause, then you realise that there is a purpose why I'm leaving. She's scared of the infection, so we are giving them 15 pieces of mask and two bottles of hand sanitizer as part of the kit. So she, she has... If every day my staff and me I were to go around and make a difference in somebody else's life, when I go back home, when I think back what we have done, it gives us a bit of meaning. Yeah, honestly, I'm very proud of my son. Singaporeans are all very high at helping people. I got a lot of messages, you know, the meter, 70s, she said, Uncle, $10, you keep the chain for your lunch. You see, how nice is it? I appreciate them. I hope that COVID-19 would really be a time for us to unite together, for us to reset our lifestyle, so that when COVID-19 is over, we stand stronger, 